Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate the Google My Business into Go High Level and using that, you can create an automation to send review requests to your clients. If you are running a business, you know the importance of the Google reviews for your business. If you want to rank your business at the higher position in Google search, you need more reviews. And to get more reviews from your clients, you need to send a review request to your clients. So we are going to automate the process of sending the review request to your client and for that we are going to use Go High Level services. So I'll show you how you can link your Google page into the Go High Level and how you can integrate Google My Business page into Go High Level. We will also create an automation in which once the work is done, it is going to send an SMS or email directly to the client. So once you mention that the work is done, it is going to wait for a day or two and after that it is going to send a review request to the clients automatically. If the clients do not reply, it is going to repeat the process after three days or five days or a month and it is going to send the review request automatically again. If you want to show these reviews on your website, you can integrate these reviews on your website also. If you are using third party website, then also you can show these reviews on the website. We can also customize the text or the content in the review request. I'll show you how to customize the review request. For those who do not know anything about Go High Level, Go High Level is one of the best sales and marketing platform. Using Go High Level services, you can create websites, sales funnel, surveys, forms. You can also use CRM and pipelines. So there are many features that you can use in Go High Level services and it starts from only $97 for a single account. So if you want to sign up for 14 days free trial, you can use my link in the description box. So let's see how we can integrate the Google My Business into Go High Level services. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the Go High Level and I'm using a dummy sub account. Now let's start with the integration of the Google account into the Go High Level. So first we will connect the Google account with the Go High Level and after that we are going to connect the Google My Business with the Go High Level. So in the bottom left hand corner you will see settings, go to settings and from there go to integration and there you will see an option Google. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to link the Facebook account and how you can create the automation for the Facebook lead forms. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. So let's click on sign in with the Google. Now it will ask you to log into the Google account. So I'm going to select one of my Google accounts here and you need to allow it. So I'm going to allow. Now it shows that it is connected. Now click on select Google My Business page and you will see the option to select the page. So I'm going to select a page. This is one of the pages that I'm going to use and it will ask you to connect the page. So I'm going to click on connect. Now here you can see that the Google account is linked and as well as the Google My Business page is linked with the Go High Level services. Now here you will see the option a reputation management. Click on a reputation management and it is going to create a link for your Google reviews. If you do not see any link here, you can click on generate link. And once the link is generated, you can click on save. Below that, you will see an option, review request behavior, send review request immediately once, follow a custom schedule for review request. I'm going to select send review request immediately once. So it is going to send the request only once. If you want to create follow up, then you can select the second option. Now here you will see the SMS review request. So you can send two types of review requests. You can send SMS or you can send email to the client for the review request. And for that, you need to enable it. Make sure that this option is enabled. Otherwise, the SMS or the email will not be sent. And here you will see the email review request. Now, if you want to add image, you can add image. If you do not want to show image, you can disable this option. If I enable it, I can add image. Let me add one of the image here. And this is how it will show. However, I'm not going to use the image. And here I can type in the message. So this is just a sample message. And you will see a link is already added there. So you don't need to put the link. This is the same link that is generated here, but it is a shorter version. Once done, you can click on save. So this SMS will be sent when you request for the review. Now below this, you have email review request. Here you can add the email subject line. So this is just a simple dummy text that I'm using. And I can use the same message here. 
whatever content you want in the email you can use that content and here you will see this is how to look uh, this is how to look on the mobile device on the tablet on the laptop once done you can click on save below that you will see the color combination if you want to change the color combination you can change the color combination such as if i want to change this one i can change this one and this is how it will look this is the background color disable powered by you will see powered by option here if you want to disable it you can disable it and this is the short code if you want to show all the reviews on any particular website or if you want to embed the reviews on the funnels you can use this short code all right so these are the basic settings now let's go back and here you can go to reputation under reputation you will see the overview of the google reviews it will show how many reviews are sent how many reviews are received and what is the average rating sentiment positive or negative in white trends review trends so all the statistics will be shown here now if you go to request you can manually request the review from your client so here you can click on send review request and from here you can select the contact name that will be the contact name from the contact list in your crm so it is going to select the contact so from here you can select the contact and here you can select the type of review request you can send sms or you can send email and once selected you can simply click on this send review request and it will send the sms or the email to that particular contact list now let's go back to settings i forgot to show you one more thing let's go to reputation management let's select this option follow a custom schedule for a review request and here you will see option when to send sms after check-in so when you click on send review request it is going to send the request immediately if you want to delay you can delay the request and this is the other option until clicked repeat this survey so if the client do not click on the link which is sent into the sms or the email it is going to repeat the process again so you can specify the time gap like let's say three days one week 15 days if you select three days after three days it is going to send an email or the sms again to the same client until they click on the review request link and this is the number of tries so you can change the number of tries so it is going to send request only for next three tries after that it is not going to send it click save let's go back now here at the top you will see reviews so it is going to show all the reviews that you have on your google my business page now we will look at the automation let's go to automation here and we are going to create a new automation before that let me show you opportunities we have a sales pipeline here and under sales pipeline we have different types of stages created it will show it under new lead and at the end you are going to sell the services to that particular client and once the services are sold the lead will be marked as one now you are going to send the review request when you finish your work with the client and when the client is satisfied you can send the review request to your client so once the lead is generated it is going to go through this pipeline you are going to call the lead you are going to book the appointment you are going to schedule a meeting and after meeting you are going to sell the services so at the final stage when the work is done you are going to send the review request so i want to automate the review request at the last stage of the pipeline so i'm going to create an automation for this work so let's go to automation here and we are going to create a new workflow so click on create workflow start from scratch and just name it as review request and here i'm going to click on the trigger and we are going to add a trigger that will be pipeline it should be in the last stage of the pipeline so i'm going to click on pipeline pipeline stage changed i'm going to add a filter that will be in pipeline select the pipeline so this will be the pipeline here i'm going to add pipeline stage will be the last stage that will be services sold all right so when you go to that stage and when you mark the lead as one you are going to send this review request so i'm going to click on add filter that will be 
status is one so when you change the status of the contact lead to one it is going to trigger this workflow so i'm going to save the trigger and i'm going to wait for a day so i'm not going to send the review request immediately once the service is marked as completed i will wait for one day save action after a day i'm going to send a review request so here you can search for review and you will see this option here send review request click on it and what type of review you want to send you can select email or you can select sms so in this case i'm going to select email and click on save action and this workflow is going to send the review request to the client automatically once done you can click on publish and click on save if you want to add more actions in this workflow you can definitely add more actions in this workflow such as you can send sms email you can also create trigger links and you can send the email with the trigger links i have a separate video on how to create trigger links how to create pipelines and opportunities if you want to watch those video i'll give you the link in the description box so let's go back so using workflow you can send the automated review request to your client now let's see how we can integrate the google reviews on the sales funnel or the websites so let's go to sites and in one of the previous videos i have shown you how to create sales funnel or how to create websites so i'm going to use one of the websites here and i'll show you how to use the reviews there so let's go to this website we have one website created here if you want to show the reviews on any third party website such as if you have a wordpress website then you can copy that embed code and you can put that code on your website and it will show the reviews on your website so on this website i have a home page so i'm going to click on home page and we are going to show the reviews on the home page so this is a demo website that i created using the go high level website builder and let's say i want to show the reviews all right so this one already shows a review here these are the manual reviews it's not the google reviews so i'm going to delete delete and delete and here i want to add reviews so i'm going to click on the plus sign and let's add one column under this click on add element and under elements you can search for reviews if you want to know how to design a website using go high level website builder I have a separate video there. Here you will see reviews, click on it. And you will see the reviews will be added automatically at this location. Now this is a dummy account so it's not going to show all the reviews here. If I go to advanced you will see visibility. If you want to disable reviews on mobile you can disable it. And once done you can click on save and it will show the reviews on your website or the sales funnel the procedure will be same for the sales funnel you just need to add the element on the sales funnel so let's go back let's go to reputation now let me again show you the code that you can use to show the reviews on your third party website here we are on the reputation go to settings and here you will see the code so you need to copy this code and use this code on your third party website so that these reviews will be shown on your website so this is how you can integrate the Google My Business in Go High Level and you can start sending review requests to your contact leads. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.